In Activity 11, Plants and Animals, students observe plants and animals. Students then compare the life cycle stages of plants and animals by listing the identifying characteristics of each. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 11, Characteristics and Life Cycles of Plants and Animals Chart, and Masking Tape. You will also need to provide pea plants, fruit fly cultures, assorted live animals, a felt tip marker, and assorted live plants. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 11 for each student. Tape the chart Characteristics and Life Cycles of Plants and Animals to the front wall of the classroom. Make sure to gather several live plants and live animals and arrange them in random fashion on a large display table. Note that if live plants and animals are not available, pictures may be substituted. To begin the activity, introduce the activity by directing students' attention to the chart Characteristics of Living, Non-Living, and Dead Things. If necessary, remind students that characteristics are the features or qualities that an object has. Have students grab their pea plants, fruit fly vials, and file folders and inform them that they will begin this activity by listing the characteristics they have noticed in fruit flies and pea plants. Then hand out a copy of Activity Sheet 11 to each student and have students complete it on their own. After they have completed the activity sheets, discuss their responses and make a list of correct responses. Next, encourage students to share what they know about plants and animals. Introduce some characteristics of a plant, such as a plant is a living thing that makes its own food for energy to live and grow, a plant is not able to move from place to place, and a plant has no sensory organs. Then define animal as a living thing that cannot make its own food, but instead must eat plants or other animals to get food energy. In contrast to a plant, an animal can typically move from place to place, and an animal does have sensory organs. Students should identify the pea plant as a plant and the fruit fly as an animal. Then ask, based on the characteristics you have checked on Activity Sheet 11 for pea plants, what characteristics can we list on the chart for plants? Record all correct responses on the chart. Ask students, based on the characteristics you have checked on Activity Sheet 11 for fruit flies, what characteristics can we list on the chart for animals? Point out to students that not all animals go through metamorphosis. Therefore, the chart entry should read, may change to a larva pupa. Again, record all correct responses on the chart. Then ask, based on your study of pea plants and fruit flies, what other major difference exists between plants and animals? Students may suggest that they have different life cycles. Refer to the chart Characteristics and Life Cycles of Plants and Animals and instruct students to record the stages in the plant life cycle. Under the life cycle stages heading on the animal side of the chart, work with students to list the stages in the fruit fly life cycle. Then make a list of the stages in the human life cycle to compare. Ask students how are humans and fruit flies alike and different. Encourage students to realize they both share many common characteristics of animals. However, their life cycles are quite different in that fruit flies go through metamorphosis and humans, like other mammals, do not. Instead, a human baby has the same structures and characteristics of an adult, and during maturation, these structures simply grow and develop further. Also, point out that even though some animals go through metamorphosis during their life cycles, the offspring eventually develop to resemble their parents. This is also true of plants and other organisms. In fact, the offspring of most organisms closely resemble their parents. Use the completed chart to discuss with students the similarities and differences between the two groups of living things. Examples are both plants and animals need air, 
water, and light. Both show growth and development. Both can produce a new generation of offspring, and all plants and animals eventually die. Students should note, however, that animals need to gather food, whereas plants make their own food. Animals can move, while most plants cannot. Animals grow from eggs, while plants grow from seeds. Animals may go through metamorphosis, while plants do not. And lastly, most plants grow flowers, but animals do not. Next, bring students' attention to the display of living plants and animals, and work with the class to sort all items into two categories, plants and animals. Call on volunteers to select an item, and based on prior knowledge, observation, and the chart information, discuss the item's characteristics and the stages in its life cycle. Finally, let students know that in the next activity, Death of Organisms, they will learn of the valuable role dead organisms have in the life cycle. To conclude the activity, return the pea plants, vials, and file folders to their designated areas, and return the masking tape to the kit. You may leave the chart in its display position. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.